Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today we have one very simple program, a very famous interview question. Write a Java program to check whether two strings are anagram or not. What do you mean by this? There are various ways of solving this problem. But first let's understand what do you mean by anagram strings. So for example, let's see, I have uh, one string which is uh, like that, right? Let's see, this is a kind of an array that I create. And then the anagram of this string E like this it means the same number of characters that i'm using to create a new word over here or any kind of new string that i'm going to create it means if you see this carefully this l is connected with this i is using over here s i'm using it over here t i'm using it here then e i'm using it here and then n is i'm using it over here so this called what so if i'm saying that okay yeah uh, these two strings are anagram strings or not yes this is like that there are so many examples i can show you for example let's see if you write lives and then if i'm writing elvis see this is also anagram so see this uh, e is connected over here i is here and then v here s here and l over here there are so many example lessons silent triangle integral so if you write triangle over here g l e and then you write integral this is also anagram you can check it over here so triangle and integral, lives, Elvis, there are so many final cat, act. See, this is also a small cat. You can write act. You can write rat. And then you can see that art over here. Anagram strings. So how do you find out that, okay, these two strings are anagram strings or not? So there are various ways of doing it. So first today we will see that we will be using equals method, which is the inbuilt method. And we will be using some sort methods. Equals and sort, we can do that. We can use hash map also. We can use string builder also. We can use the iterative ways of also, you can do that. But today we will talk about equals and sort. So, uh, and then in upcoming uh, two videos also, I'll be preparing for some other uh, methods also, because otherwise this video will be too long. So what is the uh, logic that we have to write it over here? The logic is very simple guys, that uh, for example, first I'll do one thing that I'll remove, let's see, I'm getting two strings over here. For example, let's see, these are the two strings. So first of all, I'll remove the white spaces. If any white space, okay, white space is also considered. What if, if I'm writing, let's see, S, S over here, and then again, or let's see, S, S, E, then again, it could be E, S, S also. This is also anagram strings, right? So I have to remove the spaces first. So after removing the spaces, and then I'll be checking that, okay, the length of this string is equal to the ST dot length or not. If it is equal, then only extra character is available over here. It means they are not anagram strings. So that is the first condition that I'll be adding it. If this condition is satisfied, then only I'll be writing my logic. If this condition is not satisfied, if it is not equal, then I'll be returning a false over here, right? So that will be my first condition. If both are equal, then what should I do in this case? Okay, if it is equal, then let's see, I'll go to the else part. If not equal, return false, otherwise come into the else part. Then what exactly I'm doing that first this S1 string, converting that into the lowercase and then taking the two character array. Why lowercase? Because it could be, see, this is also if I'm writing Elvis, right? This is example that we have taken. And then if I'm writing L-I-V-E-S, they are also anagram strings. Doesn't matter capital letter or a small letter. Okay, so first I'm converting into a lowercase and then getting my two character array. And then uh, this will be my array. So for same thing, I'll be doing S1, S2 character array, which is equal to S2 dot lowercase dot two character array i'll be using it so i have got what i have got uh, two arrays over here i'll be doing what i'll be using the sort so i'll be sorting here as two character array so once these two things are sorted then after that i'll be doing what i'll be comparing both the sorted array so i'll be using the equals method over here if this equals is uh, giving you true it means both the strings are anagram strings Otherwise, not. Okay, so if it is giving false, I mean, both are not equals, it is giving false, it means not anagram. So very simple logic, I'll be using it over here for this. Okay, so let's see practically how to do that and then we will keep writing number of test cases over here. So that we will keep calling the function by passing the two strings over here. So let's see public, I'll creating one function that is, so let's see, this is give me the first string and then give me a string S2 and uh, this will give you a boolean here somewhere like this 
like that and uh, I'll first of all that this first string that I'm capturing it this first string I'll be replacing I'll be using replace all and remove all the white spaces so I'll be writing double slash backslash s and replacing with nothing so replace all white space with nothing and uh, let's see uh, str1 that I'm taking it and the same thing I'll be using one str2 also and they both are strings then after that immediately I'll put a condition that if first of all that if str1 and then dot it is this length if it is not equal to str2 dot length then do what immediately you return false because now no need to proceed further okay and then you come into the else part let's see this is my else part because if length are not equal then there is no point to write the separate logic or sorting logic and everything because an absolutely uh, anagram strings we could not find it the anagram strings should have the same length okay after that what should i do after that i have to convert that into a, a lowercase so uh, first of all that str1 dot uh, to lowercase I'll be using it so we can use this to lowercase and then I'll be converting that into a two character array and then I'm capturing inside the character array let's see c1 array which is equal to this that is your character array okay and then I'll be doing the exactly same thing for the second guy also and when we get this character array that I'm using a sort over here so how do you use it I can use arrays dot uh, sort and uh, I can pass a c1 here and uh, once this is done what exactly i'll be writing here i simply say that uh, uh, both the arrays that we captured c1 uh, i can directly write return arrays dot for the comparison i can use a c1 comma c2 i can compare two arrays like that uh, it will return true otherwise it will return false and uh, that's it will this work let's see so i'll be calling this particular function is anagram and and the silent I'll be writing like that let's see it is working or not so run as Java application and uh, this is giving you true yeah this is absolutely fine that's good now let's uh, check with some other let's see I'm writing T and then I'm writing one more T over here so obviously I've added extra character here so they both are not so it will give you false which is perfectly fine and let's see if I'm putting a space over here like this still they both are uh, anagrams they will remove the spaces and then yeah both are true which is absolutely fine now let's uh, <clears throat> test something else I'll be writing let's see uh, L I V E S and what was the second word so let's see E L V I S everything is in capital letter and here it's a first L and capital and rest of the things are a small letter so let's see they both are true or not yes they both are anagram number uh, strings which is absolutely fine and uh, let's see there are various ways I mean various uh, uh, test cases you can write it you can write uh, for example cat and then everything in a small letter you can write act like that so this is also a true which is absolutely uh, working fine you can check some other uh, as well for example and uh, if I'm writing let's see s h o t short so yeah obviously it will give you false so here you can check that it's giving you false over here right if i'm writing something like this for example um, let's see joy and enjoy right joy is available but e and n is missing over here so they both are not anagram num okay strings so this will give you false over here okay so like this you can create n number of combinations like that and then you can just simply do it right so if i'm passing let's say listen and silent once again and then uh, immediately that if i'm passing let's see one extra space here so what will happen in that case see this if i'm running it it's giving you true over here which is absolutely fine so there is you have to be careful you might be thinking that okay why i'm not checking the length initially why because first you have to remove the white spaces because the white spaces can come at the corner also so that's why you have to handle in that way only see if I write this logic right the length equal to this or not directly on s1 and s2 before removing the white spaces then it will give you always false why because uh, they both are anagram strings but because of this white space uh, the length got mismatched and then it will always give you false but we want to get true so that's why we have to remove the spaces like that okay so let's take one more example 
if I'm writing let's see S I then some spaces like that okay and here also let's see some spaces like this and then they both are anagram strings or not so let's run it and let's see remove the white spaces and then you compare the length and then it's giving you true over here absolutely working fine like that okay so very very simple logic guys very straightforward i'm using replace all then i'm using uh converting into lowercase to character array sorting and then equals that's it okay but i'm using the default functions which are already available there are other ways also doing that you can use iterative methods also you can use hash map also you can use builder also string builder also you can use that that i'll tell you in the upcoming sessions this is a logic that you would explain at a time of interview it's a quick logic if someone is asking you this question in hacker rank also at a very uh, initial level you can quickly write this logic to solve the problem and then write your test cases over here to prove it that okay yeah which is absolutely fine or not let me just quickly check one more thing that uh, let's see if i'm passing only t so yeah they both are still true perfect so thank you so much that's all for this particular video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all